Hey everybody, thank you for dropping into DeFi Divi. My name is Matthew, welcome, glad you're here. Today I'm gonna to show you how Flare will know about your remaining 85% after the airdrop. And that's in the context of if the proposal passes, we're talking about FIP01. If that passes, <clears throat> you will need to be delegating to claim the remaining 85% of your flare drop. And so this video is going to show you how flare will know to give you your 85%. So you don't have to worry about it. It's coming. You're going to get it. It's exciting. I'll say that right up front. Uh, you're getting a, if you claimed, you're going to get free tokens and you know, you'll be able to enjoy some uh, crypto passive income with that. So let's get into it. This tweet was respired. This tweet was inspired from Danger Mouse XRP at Danger Mouse XRP on Twitter. Give that account a follow. And I quote, if I receive my flair on MetaMask and send to Bifrost to delegate, like I did with Songbird, how will Flare know that I am delegating and have not sold my flair? And hence will continue to send me the remaining 85% over the coming few years at Flare Networks at Community Flare. And this, this thread has some great responses in it. Uh, my favorite response is from Hugo. We'll get right into that before I, I, I show you conceptually how they will know. Like you'll be able to see and you'll, you'll get it right after. It's pretty, it's not too hard. But uh, Flare Community, this was a, a response from Flare Community. And I quote, if the proposal passes, which it may or may not, further distributions will be based on how much Flare you hold. Where it came from is irrelevant. This is why the Flare distribution will be transferable and allowed allow new people buying Flare to receive further distributions. All delegation is on a public network. The information is free for anyone to query. A smart contract will handle the distribution based on this public information. Yeah, and that right there is where we're starting to get more into the weeds. But let's get into this response from Hugo Fillion because this is the one that gets me geeked up from a technical level because I knew I was wondering too. I'm like, something under the hood is gonna need to happen I was like, how, how will they know? And I, really, I didn't really put too much time into thinking about it because I knew, I knew, I knew something was going to happen and they're going to make it happen. But once you kind of just think about how blockchains work, it, you have that aha moment. And if you don't know, maybe this will help you out. In crypto, it's funny. I've been in crypto for a while and I still have aha moments all the time. Many people do. So, I mean, it's a, it's a complicated space until all of a sudden you just have these certain aha moments. And you're like, oh, okay, I see. That's easy. But anyways, uh, this from Hugo in response to that question from at Danger Mouse XRP, FIP01 shifts the remaining 85% of the distribution from the addresses that registered for the airdrop to the flare addresses that wrap flare, proxy for delegation. You will claim it using the addresses from which you delegate. Instructions will be released. Okay, so right there, we have instructions coming that will tell you, that will help you with your claim. So there's going to be more info on the way on what to do exactly. Okay, so let's get into this a little more conceptually. I have this little slideshow here. Nothing fancy, very... Very simple. Now, let's say you are going to receive your, first of all, you went through the, uh, the claim process back in uh, late 2020, early 2021. You had the XRP in your wallet and you're going to use a MetaMask account address to receive your first 15% of your uh, flare tokens when the airdrop happens. So that would be this address right here associated with your MetaMask wallet, right? And now you are going to transfer that meta that that 15% uh, to your Bifrost wallet, which is a new address. So it goes right over here to this new account address. You're all you're all on the uh, the Flare network here, so you're all on the same ledger. You know your MetaMask. Here's your MetaMask account. Here's your Bifrost account. You're transferring. You're sending your your Flare from MetaMask to Bifrost, and then this Bifrost account delegates to signal providers, which pays you rewards back. So 
the part that a lot of people miss is that this is this is all publicly available. Not only can Flair see this action happening, but you can see this actioning happen. You can see this action happening too. You could take a look at on the Flair Explorer. Uh, you can see this happening now on the Songbird Explorer. You can see this on EtherScan if you're using Ethereum. Uh, you know, talking about Ethereum tokens. So this is all publicly available. So. Ultimately, what Hugo's saying in that tweet is there'll be a smart contract of some sort or some, some mechanism that says, okay, this, this, was, this was airdropped. So we, we know we sent 15% to this, this account address, which was MetaMask, and this was sent to this Bifrost account, and this is now delegating. So you see how they're going to be able to trace it. They're going to know that the origin of the airdrop was this account, which is MetaMask. Then they're going to see that the original 15% airdrop went from MetaMask to here, and then it went from here to delegate to signal providers. Everyone can see what's happening here. So not only can everyone see it, but it's not too complicated if you're a developer to write something that traces and tracks this entire process. Okay, airdrop from here to Bifrost. This is delegating. This is wrapping and delegating. And so we will continue to move the rewards right here. It's, it's pretty much that simple. It's just, you know, forensics companies build this stuff all the time. Yeah, so it's a public ledger. So, you, so everyone can see what's happening. Everyone can see what you're doing. Everyone can see the movement of your, your Flare tokens from MetaMask to Bifrost, from Bifrost to Delegating. And a script can see this, and a script will know, okay, these rewards are going to go from this account to Bifrost, because this Bifrost account right here has the airdrop funds from this MetaMask account. And likewise, you could just delegate from this MetaMask account if you want, but a lot of people prefer Bi Bifrost because it's user-friendly, great user interface, great UX. But that should clear it up. So I just, you know, I just showed you how you know basic transfers work on blockchain it's not it's not not too complicated it is and it isn't it takes a little while for for some people to conceptually get what's going on it took me a while i remember when i first started learning crypto i thought metamask was a wallet that held actual tokens and not really just a password connection to an account ledger and yeah you're just moving tokens from right here to right here on this account, all on the same ledger, and everyone can see that it moved from here to here. So Flare can see it, they're gonna know, oh yeah, okay, here's your airdrop tokens, here's your 15%, and you've wrapped them and you're delegating. So now every month we're gonna give you that, that remaining amount for 36 months. Boom, done. And then you can keep earning that crypto passive income, which is exciting because we all love the idea of financial freedom and being nerds cutting edge technology. I know I do. I'm sure you do as well. It's a fun space. I mean, I like developing in addition. Like if I, I'm, I'm never going to stop building stuff. I mean, maybe one day I'll get sick of it, but uh, I'll always build. But anyways, it's nice to be able to build and do other stuff, you know, have the freedom to do what you want. And so hopefully this will uh, inspire you to not to just know that you are going to get your tokens. You're going to get your remaining 85% if you delegate, and that's only if this proposal passes. If the proposal fails, you're going to get your tokens the way they were originally, um, the, uh, the instructions originally said. So it's all good either way. That's it. This is just a quick one. I hope you are all having an amazing day, and uh, none of this is financial advice, of course. I'm not a financial advisor, and I will talk to you all soon. Okay, bye.